Hey, welcome back, everybody, to another segment of Tech Tuesday on the Educational AD Podcast. We'll be right back with this week's tech guest. But as always, we want to give a shout out to our sponsors. Now, don't hit that fast forward button. These are all companies that I used as an athletic director, and I really recommend that you take a look at them. So take the next couple of minutes, listen to our shout outs, then listen to our Tech Tuesday guest, and then go visit these sponsors. I'm telling you, you're going to be glad you did. Here we go. We want to say thanks to our good friends at Gipper for their support. You know, your students and a lot of their parents are on social media. And if you're not posting content to celebrate their accomplishments, and, you know, promote your program, you're really missing out. Go to Gipper.com. Their team will have you creating world-class content in seconds. And it's so easy, even I can do it. Go to Gipper.com to get started. We also want to say thanks to Hometown Ticketing, the leading digital ticketing provider to schools and colleges. I don't think I need to say anything more. Go to hometownticketing.com. It's digital ticketing that offers more. We want to say thanks to our good friends at Snap Raise. Have you ever spent weeks and weeks with a fundraiser and uh, ended up with little, if any, return on your investment? Stop right here. Go to snapraise.com. Hands down, the best online fundraiser out there. We used it at our school with tremendous success. Our coaches loved it. Our parents loved it because it works. Go to snapraise.com. You can take a look at their other great platforms. But if you're looking for a fundraiser, you found it. Go to snapraise.com. We want to say thanks to the Ohio University Online Masters in Athletic Administration. This is an affordable 20-month totally online program where you not only earn your master's degree, but you'll also complete 11 NIAAA leadership training courses. The program is flexible and uh, it's built around your schedule. For more information, go to ohio.edu slash info slash MAA, the Ohio University Online Masters. We want to say thanks to Huddle and all they do. As a football coach, I used Huddle for years, but when I became an athletic director, I made sure that our school was a huddle school and our coaches just loved the tools that huddle provided us. Uh, the kids loved the videos and our parents loved the streaming services, but there's a whole lot more. Go to huddle.com, join the 8 million users, turn your school into a huddle school. We also want to say thanks to Sideline Interactive indoor score tables and video boards. Go to sidelineinteractive.com. Schedule a live web demo to see their score tables and their score boards in action. Probably one of the best purchases I ever made was our Sideline Interactive indoor score table. Go to sidelineinteractive.com. You're going to be glad you did. We also want to thank uh, Home Campus. Home Campus is a platform that you will use every single day. Things like scheduling, rosters, communication. How about athletic eligibility and clearance? Who doesn't do that every day? Home Campus does all of these things and more, and it does it better and it does it faster. Go to homecampus.com. That's it, homecampus.com. We want to say thanks to our good friends at Vital Signs Wall of Fame. If you're looking for a really cool way to display your school record boards for all the teams, for all the events, or show off your school's Hall of Fame, go to vitalsignswalloffame.com and take a look at their interactive touch screen video consoles. They're also a great way to tell your school's unique history and share your proudest moments. The website is vitalsignswalloffame.com. Take a look at their products today. We also want to say thanks to Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. You know, athletic directors already get feedback, but uh, typically it's from program. a very small group that uh, only wants to complain. Athletic surveys will connect you to that group, but they're also going to connect you to the 98% that supports your program. And that information is incredibly valuable, especially when you're meeting with a frustrated parent or maybe your principal or even your school board. Go to athleticsurveys.com. They're going to create a custom survey that lets you take the pulse of everybody in your program. 
That's athleticsurveys.com. Check them out today. Welcome back, everybody, to another segment of Tech Tuesday on the Educational AD Podcast. We have a, a first timer on this podcast, but it's definitely someone that I would call an old friend. Danielle Bongiorno Clay. She is a senior director of partnerships at a company called Hometown Tickney. Now, I met Danielle, uh, I'm going to say it had to be close to when she was starting at Hometown about four years ago. She's always been kind of the lead rep uh, for Hometown at our FIAAA conference. Uh, she has a tremendous background in athletics. You know, hopefully she'll share just a little bit of that. But Danielle, welcome to Tech Tuesday. Thank you. It is so great to be here. I appreciate you having me. Well, we appreciate everything that Hometown does for our podcast and also for athletic directors and coaches around the country. Uh, Danielle, if you can, for listeners, uh, share a little bit of your background and kind of how you ended up at Hometown. Uh, and then I know you've got some exciting new things that you want to share about the platform. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I, I always say when I kind of talk about my background, uh, my first love was the game of basketball, and that really made up a large portion of the beginning of my life. I, I played basketball all growing up and then had the opportunity to play at Lenore Ryan University, small division two school in North Carolina, if you haven't heard of it. Uh, but that was a great four years for me. And then when I finished, I stepped into coaching. I coached at high school coached at a community college, and I even ran a travel program. So I did a lot of coaching, a lot of pouring into um, female athletes and, and youth and loved that. I did that for about five years and then felt it was time to make a transition and wasn't really sure what that was until I was introduced and met Hometown Ticketing. And it really was a perfect match. I uh, got started with them in 2020, which to your point, it's crazy. It's been almost four and a half years, you know, since that date. And um, I've loved it. I've been able to continue uh, working with athletic directors and coaches and stay in this uh, educational athletic space. So it's been great and uh, happy to be here. And like you said, share a few new exciting things today. Well, again, you uh, worked in a number of different roles at Hometown Ticketing. Now you're, as I mentioned, the Senior Director of Partnerships. Um I think a lot of our listeners uh, that, that use Hometown, obviously, uh, and when they hear that name, they think just about the online ticketing. But there's a lot more to the platform. Uh, you know, what are a couple things that you want to share with our listeners, both old and potentially new uh, users? Yes, that's a great question. We do have some really exciting things that have either recently, you know, released over the past few months. Um, or coming. Uh, so really what I wanted to talk about today is kind of our functionality around how fans get into the event. And one of our core features, if you know hometown or if you're using the platform, you probably used our scanning. And that is, it's been since day one, one of my favorite features of ours, because it really, it mirrors when you go to a professional event or a college event, or even when you uh, get your tickets scanned at the airport, right? Um, so it's very simple to do. You can do our scanning with your own phone or tablet through our app. That essentially becomes this professional scanner for you. So when people walk in with their ticket, whether it's on their phone or printed, the gate worker can easily scan it and see if it's a valid ticket. So that has been, again, our bread and butter, right? It's been very successful. I would say our clients love it. However, we're always looking to innovate, always looking to improve. And one of the ways we do that is by getting feedback from people using our system, from our clients and from the market. And I would say if there's one issue or concern or hesitation, we would hear often is connectivity. And that could be connectivity for their fans or connectivity for them, you know, the staff and the, the people at the school using our system. So we solved the connectivity issue for fans and we said, look, let's make this easy. You can bring your ticket printed. You can have the QR code teed up and ready to go. So you don't need any connectivity. You can save your ticket to your Google or Apple wallet. Boom, that's easy. So now fans walk up, no connectivity needed to get into the event. Um, 
And then, and it, let me uh, also clarify, when I say connectivity, internet connectivity, right? So Wi-Fi or data, something like that. But then there was still that issue remaining of, well, what about our staff? What if we don't have Wi-Fi connection and we're struggling to scan tickets? Or what if we are scanning tickets in areas further away from the campus or the school, like your baseball field? And so we, we don't have a way to connect the device so we can scan. So I remember probably two years ago when I first started kind of hearing this issue, you know, I'm in North Carolina. So we got some cities in North Carolina. We got a lot of rural areas too, right? So I would hear ADs express this and, and you know, the idea came up of, wow, it would be really good if we could scan tickets without having to have some form of internet connection. And lo and behold, here we are. We have that feature now. It's existing. Clients are using it and loving it. And essentially how this works is, um, one of two ways. One, let's say you know you're scanning in an area where you do not have internet connection. Great. What you can do is you can upload your guest list before you go out there. And then when you go out to that place where you have no connection, you turn on your offline scanning and you can still scan tickets and see in real time if it's a valid duplicate or invalid ticket. Super cool, right? The other is, let's say you're in an area where connection just gets spotty, you know, or your Wi-Fi goes in and out. Same thing. The offline scanning will then turn on when that happens and allow you to continue scanning. And then let's say you get Wi-Fi back again. Great. Those, you know, guests that you checked in, that'll upload to your system. So, you you know, you can see that, um, but it's available if, if connection gets spotty again. So it's really, I think... Um, removing any barriers, any obstacles, not only for the fan to use digital ticketing, but also for your schools in any and every community to be able to take advantage of, uh, you know, going digital and taking this online. Well, and again, I've been at a number of events, uh, even now as a retired AD, you know, going to football games or basketball games. And uh, I've seen that actually happen where, you know, the, mm -hmm. the internet, you know, wasn't working and the line was, you know, getting longer and longer. What a great innovation. Uh, uh, wh what kind of feedback have you gotten so far from the people that have been using it? Yeah. So great feedback already. I mean, for one, so many clients that we've started to bring this to and say, Hey, guess what? This is, this is now here. They're over the moon, you know, because I would, again, they're saying if there's one thing that would really help us, it would be this feature. And then we have had some clients this spring, you know, whether it be uh, championship events um, or any schools that have been finishing up some, some events before the school year was up, starting to use it and worked awesome, you know, just being able to have, you know, not only the option, but also the assurance of, hey, we've got your back, no matter what happens with the internet, as we all know, it can be unpredictable. Um, and so I think already a lot of positive feedback, but we're so excited for, you know, all of our clients to get to really utilize this this fall uh, when everything picks back up for the football season. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I, I know Hometown is a sponsor, but uh, they're a sponsor because I hear all the great things that athletic directors say about them. And the, the customer service, I think, is one of the things that that really sets you apart. Uh, before you and I started recording, you mentioned that there was another uh, feature that you wanted to talk about. Yes. So we do have another really exciting feature right now. Uh, again, and this came from a lot of feedback from our, our clients and from, you know, people using the system. It's really important to us that we're listening and making adjustments and make and being innovative, right? And uh, what we found was a lot of people love scanning, but there's another method people really appreciate and enjoy using when it comes to allowing their fans or their guests entry into the event. And this method is self-check-in. So now we have a scanning option and we have a self-check-in option. So essentially self-check-in is if you have purchased a ticket, you can walk up, show the gate worker that you purchased the ticket and hold down a button and it will kind of spin and then validate for you. And so it's a way for the fan to actually validate the ticket on their own device. 
And this is another great option. Again, we have clients currently using scanning, using self-check-in. Um, it's really, you know, kind of what does your community prefer? What's easiest for your, your staff? But the good news is you can do either, you know, so um, the options are there. And uh, again, already a lot of positive feedback and our clients are loving, you know, now having both of those options on the table. So, uh for somebody who might be um, still on the fence about, you know, using or converting or adding online ticketing, um, how is that self check-in going to be, uh, how is that going to help, you know, Joe or Jill uh, AD who might be listening right now? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, with the self check-in, I think one of the nice things you could, you know, you could say is that if someone is new to online ticketing you don't need any anything to do it, right? Your fans buy their ticket, come to the game, tickets on their phone, they hit a button and walk in. Easy, right? And I think this also can be nice for your gate workers if maybe there are some hesitancies uh, around, you know, using equipment or devices. Again, it's super simple, and a lot of people say it's a lot of fun to scan, but it's up to your community. It's figuring out what works best for you. And uh, we, uh, we've heard tons of positive feedback about self-check-in. You know, I mentioned we used to not offer it, but we now do because we've learned that for some communities, it's easier. Uh, and so we wanted to make sure we had that on the table. But I would say the biggest thing is this, whether you're scanning or utilizing self-check-in, it's all about um, communicating what you're doing, you know, and us helping you do that. You know, us helping, making sure your staff are prepared and trained up, um, communicating, you know, to your fans the how to easily buy tickets and get into the event. And once, you know, that communication goes out, then your community a lot of times adapts very quickly. Um, and, and a lot say, wow, we should have been doing this a long time ago. <laughs> I, I, I was just on the uh, phone with, with an AD last week and <laughs> he said that very thing. They just converted. So, yep, uh, yep. so true. Uh, Danielle, uh, I'd love to have you stay on and, uh, you know, pick your brain a little bit more, but we want to save it for, uh, another tech Tuesday. If one of our listeners wants to reach out, find out more about hometown, about these features, or maybe just add you to their network, what's the best way that they can get a hold of you? Yes. So I'm going to tell you first to go to hometownticketing.com. There, you can find out more information. You can easily book a call with one of our amazing team members to talk to someone directly, um, whether you are a client or someone that's in the market looking maybe for an online ticketing solution. Our team is there and ready to help you. So hometownticketing.com. Um, you can find me uh, on LinkedIn. I would love to connect. Um, Always as well, happy to help answer any questions. So Danielle Buongiorno Clay on LinkedIn and would love to, again, would love to connect with you. We would love to support you. And uh, Jake, really appreciate this. Hope this gave some uh, insight into your listeners and, you know, got them a little excited about the fall too. Oh, absolutely. And uh, like you said, you know, falls right around the corner, those fall sports. If you're not currently using uh, online ticketing, you really need to check out Hometown Ticketing, find out all the great things they can do for you and your teams and your fans. Danielle, thanks uh, for taking time out of your busy schedule to share uh, all the best moving forward. And we are definitely going to bring you back for another Tech Tuesday. All right. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, Jake. For listeners, we want to say thanks to you as well and remind you that we upload all of our interviews to the Educational AD Podcast YouTube channel. Uh, we do this every single week with Tech Tuesday and just about every day where we share stories and best practices. So come back next time for another episode of the Educational AD Podcast. Thanks again. Before we go, uh, we do want to give a shout out to all of our sponsors. You just heard about hometownticketing.com. Uh, go to hometownticketing.com. Check out all their great platforms. I want to say thanks to Gipper. We want to thank Huddle for their support. I want to thank Home Campus. Go to homecampus.com. Sideline Interactive, indoor score tables and video boards. Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack. We'd like to thank Snap Rays, part of the Snap app. Also want to thank Vital Signs Wall of Fame. That's vitalsignswalloffame.com. 
We want to thank the Ohio University Online Masters in Athletic Administration, K-12 Sports Tech, that's k12sportstech.com. And one more time, huddle.com. Check them all out. You're going to be glad you did. Thanks again for listening to this segment of Tech Tuesday on the Educational AD Podcast.